You are welcome again to a spiritual warriors talk show where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness and I am your host Bishop Grace Adegold. It has been good, it has been great. God has been doing wonderful things amidst us. We have been talking about spiritual warriors. Um, many things that have been happening. Uh -huh. And uh, God has been helping us to prevail against the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And today we are going to be talking about breaking the power of occult games. Games that people play. Children games and even sometimes adults play games, teenagers play games. I want us to pray. Father in heaven, take charge even right now. Take this word that I will speak to your people. Let it produce fruit unto righteousness, unto holiness. Let it yield deliverance. Deliverance in Jesus' name. I'm hearing conversion. Conversion as I'm praying. I pray, I, I, I'm hearing spare. Spare of conversion. I break the power of, of, of conversion. Spare in the life of the hearers. Those who are hearing me, maybe in your household, anywhere you are, I'm hearing conversion spare. I break that power. I break it. Anybody who puts spell on somebody to be having conversion, I break that power right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Mm. I want to read Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, and it says, Beware, lest any man, any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. I'm going to take it again. He said, beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy, and vain they sit after the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. In other words, all those games, occult games, that some people falsify and tell you that it makes you to relax, and it, 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 you know, when you play this game, it's this and it's that, and you, in fact, you can talk to, because I keep hearing Ouija board, Ouija board, you can speak to somebody, you know, a close relative that is dead, and so on and so forth. It's rudiment of the world. All these things will lead you astray, away from Christ. Some of them are necromancy, speaking with the dead. Some of them are fortune telling. And God is saying to me, even before I came, he said fortune telling. He said, tell them, tell whoever is delving into fortune telling, uh, tell them not to do it because it is focused. It is it, it, it's not going to help them. It's going to depress them. It's going to suppress them. It's going to put them in pain. It's going to bring all kinds of things. I'm hearing lashes, lashes. It's going to lash you. When you hear lashes in those days, it means weeping, to whip somebody, to, to, to beat somebody. God is telling me, whoever is doing that now needs to start dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. And the, I, I, I want to say, the occult entrance. How do these, these evil things enter into people's lives when you are playing the game, the occult game, the entrance of it? How, how do demons enter the lives of people when they play the game? Some of these things are even, well, even here in transcendental meditation. Transcendental meditation. That's another one that I'm hearing. Transcendental meditation. My God, God is speaking loudly that all of you that are practicing evil, that are going into transcendental, oh Jesus Christ. And as I'm saying, it, it's like a pool of so many things just open up before me. Hmm. Wow, I'm seeing the yoga. Some people say they use it as medicine. Don't use it as medicine. It's a lie from the feet of hell. We are tapping into the worship of foreign gods, and it's not going to help you. Wow. Transcendental meditation is evil. It is evil. Uh, evil the, the dojo, the karate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Karate, dojo. Well, maybe I'm not pronouncing it properly, but Jesus Christ, somebody came to me many years ago who, who, who practiced that dojo thing. And I'm telling you, he, he, he only went to the place, the center where they do it, uh -huh, from his school, he went there just once. 
The others, he watched the TV and followed the instruction and followed the instruction. He was going high, he was going high from one level to another, from one level to another, until he was possessed. He went to the black belt, red belt, I don't know which one comes first, but I'm telling you, when he, he couldn't sleep, he was, the, the, the demon of violence started to act inside him. And when he came to see me, my goodness God, if not because the power of God is in my life, because he was looking, staring at my face, and physically, I could see his ear just shaping up, his ear just shaping up, both ears just shaping up. I was like Jesus, Christ. I was praying and rebuking him, and my goodness, the power, oh my Jesus Christ. That power took him over, the evil power, and he broke the, 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 the arm of the chair that he, he sat with. He broke one this way, and he broke another, and his eyes turned red, and he was looking at me, Jesus Christ. But God is saying to me that if you give up on all of these things, and you are delivered, you are set free, you're going to skip like hands. You're going to fly like an eagle. You're going to do the impossible. This is what I'm hearing God telling you. Come out from all those things. They are not for you. They are from the demonic world. If you play those games, I've not even thought what I wrote here. Jesus Christ. And God is saying to me that the, the, the entrance is, is when, when, oh, and I'm hearing before I even go there, God is saying, if you willfully renounce and denounce, if God wants you to willfully, the Holy Spirit is saying, talking expressly. You that are listening to me, God is saying to you, be, I mean, willfully, just put it away from your life. Renounce it. Denounce it. Do not go back there. All these things that they are bringing to you, that they, 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 they are calling sometimes in the school, the, the, the school system, educational system, they, 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 they have, they have, they have ac acculturated this thing, they, they have uh, adopted this thing, they have, they have carved them out into the curriculum, which they call extra curriculum. My goodness. And some of these things do not help our people, do not help our children. It develops inside them some things, some evil. It, it, it precipitates inside them some things that may not show up immediately that they are evil, but eventually those things are evil. And that is how some people get demonized. And so I'm saying to you, come out from that practice. Renounce and denounce it. And Jesus is going to set you free. In fact, that, that this particular uh, a young man that I'm talking about, my God, his own was that when it came from level to level, when he goes to sleep, a demon will come to him and tell him where the, he is now, where he is now, and, and will even do things uh, you know, on his body, like he, he's doing some initiation and all kind of things were done to him. Jesus Christ. And before you know it, he was going high and was going high until his life was, 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 was in shambles until he could not sleep. And the person that he was actually staying with, because when he was given trouble, he was led to, 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 to somebody who, who used to come to my church at that time, uh, and the person brought that person to the office and said, boy, I need to sign up this, this, this young man for deliverance, because this is what has been happening. I'm, I'm telling you, by the time the deliverance started, when I started to do deliverance, I had to call people, because they had to hold it. About four healthy men had to hold it because of the violence in him. But Jesus set him free. So I'm saying to somebody that God is able and is more than able to deliver it. God is saying all these things are abominations. I'm hearing they are abominations unto God. God do not want you to play those games. He doesn't want you to play those games. And so I'm saying, come out from it. The Holy Spirit is saying, come out. I have not even thought what I have here. The Spirit of God was just telling me and saying that people need to willfully renounce and denounce. Tell God you are sorry. Tell God, my God, that it's an abomination and that God should forgive you. Ask God for forgiveness and come out from it. And if you need deliverance, you're going to call 823-9365 or 898-3357. And I'm saying to you, this is spiritual warriors talk show where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. Jesus shall set you free. When we come back, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk in more. We're going to be talking more about the occult games and power over there. Amen. Adigo. This is a Spiritual Warrior Show with your host, Bishop Grace Adigold. 
Christianity is not a play play thing, you know. So anyhow you come into this, you have to know, say, warfare I go go on. Devil always I go try and mash you down, bash you down. But with Jesus by our side, we have all the might and power that we need. So, when you ready, time for the soldiers march up now. Hey, check it. Getting really tired of the wicked brutality, the nasty immorality infecting the land. This mentality is quick on immortality, and personally, I don't think that this is the plan. Everybody watches while the clock tick tocks, there's a brood in a ward. You are welcome again from the short break to Spiritual Warriors Talk Show, where we prevail against the powers of darkness, we prevail against the gate of hell, we trash down the gate of hell. God wants it to prevail. Amen? Mm. Hallelujah. And I was trying to mention the entrance when people play occult games. Occult games. How do they, 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 those demons enter them? Uh, through the internet. There are several of them through the internet. Uh, so, so many years ago, a young, a young uh, school girl was, was following an instruction that she got on the internet and she was asked to place her fingers on, the, on what she saw. There were fingers on the internet. She was asked to place her fingers exactly on the fingers. And she did so and she was possessed. They had to rush that girl to our ministry at that time. And we prayed the prayer of faith. She has saved the sin. If he has committed any sin, it shall be forgiven. For the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed not. And so we prayed and broke that power. And she was saved. I mean, right now I've been told that she lives in America, she's doing great, and you know, so on and so forth, and we continue our education. So I'm saying to somebody, do not do those, those kind of things. Through internet, through group play. Some people do group play, and when they are doing group play, they cut their, themselves one another's uh, blood and rub, rub it on one another's end, and they call it blood pact. Blood pact. And they might say that, you know, they want a bonding of friendship and they shall not break away until uh, death to their part and all kind of a thing that they are doing. It. Before you know it, people can get possessed by it or, or, or some, you know, some, some demonic manifestation, you know, begin to come up or things begin to happen to an individual. And I'm hearing, I, I'm hearing insomnia, I'm hearing insomnia. If you are hearing me and you are not able to sleep properly, right now I break that power of insomnia against your life. I break it, I destroy it. I destroy the power of insomnia in your life in the name of Jesus. Whether or not you come through demonic games or not, I break that power of insomnia in your life in Jesus' name. Some, some men might come through uh, even reading, re reading of, of some, some papers, some, some books, my goodness God. Some years ago, some people were brought, who, who said that they were reading some, some, some Bibles that are not, uh, some uncanonized writings. Uh, that they would call it the book of, of, of something, maybe the book of whatever, the, the book of, uh, five book of Solomon, and all kinds of things, that, uh, the, the Maccabees Bible. And all this. By the time you know it, demons possess them. And so do not read any book that is not that is uncanonized, that is not authorized by God. Because the, the, the prophecy that the Bible says in the book of, I think, First Peter or so, he said all the prophecies of the scripture, they are not by private interpretations, for the scripture came not uh, by the will of man. It came in the old time, not by the will of man, but the holy men of God spoke as, spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. They were moved by the Holy Spirit. Read the Bible. You cannot put the whole Bible in your head till Christ comes. Spend your time reading the scriptures. So, and some might come through inheritance. Maybe your parents, maybe your father, your grandfather have practiced these things. And before you know it, it tap, I mean, it, 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 it takes them over. It goes into their loins. It goes into their loins. My God, just like uh, 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 when, 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 when you, 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 you drink soda, you know, or, or glucosate. You know, and, and when they advertise it, it shows how the bubbles goes and take you over. And so when people put their hands into things, my goodness God, I'm hearing the finger rings uh, as well. My God, my God, my God, some rings that people, friends, shares and, and things like that or people buy. My God, in the marketplace, in the stores, I'm hearing that. I've talked about rings several times, but it's not only just one ring. There can be other rings that will marry you to evil. Mm. Wow. 
some pendants and so on. We have talked about those things, but I've just said it in case you have not heard about those things. I've just said those things. They can link you up with evil, evil things. I have, and so some people will inherit it when the parents have exposed themselves to it. And so God wants those who are practicing to have. Who are, who, are, who are playing with, with all these demonic games and all those guys. It's not just hide and seek. So, so, so people, some things are behind the practice of certain things that you have done to yourself that you do. And God wants to set you free. Christ wants to set you free from those things. Hallelujah. I, I'm dealing with a, a case right right here, case one, uh -huh. yeah, which I, I've spoken about, thanks thank God, in terms of the hand place on the internet. There's another one by extension that uh, he said he was given instruction to cut his, 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 his body and use a pen, a, 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 a pen, pen that we used to write, touch that blood and sign up his name and, and, and send it back to them on the internet. And that what he got instruction that once he signs his name and send it to them with his own blood, that he say bye bye to the kingdom of God. He said bye bye to Jesus Christ. They put everything right there. But something was pushing him. Something was pros pro prospering, I mean, propelling him to do it. That he could hardly stop himself. It was while he was trying to do it, the sister saw it and shouted, Where are you going with that container and the, 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 the knife in your hand? What are you going to do? He didn't tell the sister at first what he was going for. The sisters, what are you going to do with this? Tell me now. Because of things that have been happening in his life. And it was then he exposed, he confessed what he has been doing on the internet and what he heard, the instructions that he heard, and then how he was going to do it. That was how this, the, the, the sister brought him right here to this church at that time. And he was prayed for. The whole, I mean, the whole congregation prayed for him and broke the power of the occult game in his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some are true cartoons. Cartoons. Uh -huh. Or card playing. Some people play all those queen and king cards and all this card, card, card playing. Oh my goodness, God. When some people are playing those things and they, they give themselves names and so on and so forth, there are some things behind it. There are some evil behind those cards that you are playing. It connotes evil. There are some occult signs and wonders, I mean, sorry, some occult signs and symbols, I should say, occult signs and symbols. I have books right here, The Basic Secrets of Satanic Forces, We tell you about those signs that you need to run away from. And in fact, not only that, there are other books that will tell you about, about these things, to run away from it. I don't know why I keep on hearing Ouija board, Ouija board, Ouija board. My God, God is saying, run away from Ouija board. Do not pray, play with your body. And so uh, some people, sometimes they make marks on your body. Do not allow marks to be made on your body. Some people see, see trance. My God, because they play all these games, they begin to see trance. They begin to hear voices. They begin to see dead, seemingly dead relatives, but it's not the real relative. It's demonic powers. It's, 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 my God, I'm hearing demonic subscription. It's because you subscribe to, to evil things evil games, and, and so on and so forth. That's why you are seeing these things. So all of you that, that, that you see trances, you are seeing things, and some, some, sometimes you might see things written in front of you and giving you instruction of where to go today, and, and whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm saying to you, it is not God. It is not of God. It is evil. Come out of it. If you are practicing transcendental, God is bringing it back to me again. Do not practice it. It is woe. It is woe. It is woe. It is woeful. If you do it, because it will not help you. The enemy has come. The, the John 10, 10 says, The thief come not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He said, But Jesus has come that we may have life and we may have it in abundance. So I'm saying to you, come out from this thing. Do not play those cards. Do not watch the cartoons, all those cartoons that are demonic. Cartoons that are demonic. My God, that is a whole world of teaching by itself. Cartoons that are demonic. Do not go after them. Do not watch them. And so we're going to be coming back, and I want you to call if you are having problems, you need deliverance, you need counseling, call 823-9365-898-3357. Maybe your child has dealt with that and need help. Call right now when we come back. Jesus, shall save you. 
Christianity is not a play play thing, you know. So anyhow you come into this, you have to know, say, warfare I go go on. Devil always I go try and mash you down, bash you down. But with Jesus by our side, we have all the might and power that we need. So, when you ready, time for the soldiers march up now. Hey, shake it. Getting really tired of the wicked brutality, the nasty immorality infecting the land. This mentality is quick on immortality, and personally, I don't think that this is the plan. Everybody watches while the clock tick tocks. There's a brood in a war that nobody can stop. Make up your mind, better choose your spot. Cause I left the devil hanging and destroyed his blood for my life. By the blood of the lamb and our testimony, we shall overcome. I believe we are more than conquerors, and our victory is through the sun. So grab your armor. You are welcome back again to Spiritual Warriors Talk Show, where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. And I am your host, and Bishop Grace Adegold. And so I am. Uh, we've been talking about breaking the power of occult games. And God wants me to tell you that the prayer of saints, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man are very much. The powers of the saints can break that power in your life in the name of Jesus. Do not let the devil harass you and let you feel that, my God, you, 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 you be, uh, something is going to happen to you if you do it and create fear inside you. No, uh, for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. As 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, you use that scripture against the devil, that you are ready to break from him. You are ready to break that power. Tell the devil, pack your load and go. Leave me alone. I have nothing to do with you anymore in Jesus' name. Somebody has said to me, to, to, to you know, explain even uh, uh, you know, what I mean by, by some transcendental meditation. They use it in New Age. They use it in, in, in the cult, in yoga. Uh, and, you know, sometimes, I mean, I, I, I mean, unfortunately, there are some Christians that say that they are, they are, they are, they are those, those who do power talk, power talk. Uh, maybe that, that, that's not all, but in terms of what they do, they will say they are, they are life coach, life coach, uh -huh. that is the right word. And some of them, when they are doing the life coach, they are going to be telling people that are there in conferences and seminars, they will say, okay, uh, you don't want to distress yourself because you have been stressed, so now to distress yourself. Right now, you're going to close your eyes, and when you close your eyes, you're going to imagine that you are in, in, in a plane, or you are... Uh, you know, uh, in a garden, or you are by the seaside, uh, by the beach side, and you can imagine, imagine that you are doing something, and you are doing this, and you are doing that, and they will put people there, they will tell them to use their imagination, and just, they, they will tell them it's a, it's a meditation, it's a meditation, but let me say something to you. Some of this meditation allow, allow demons to enter. Into your life. When you open your, 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 your mind, when you open your, your mind free, free, empty, then it is very easy for, the, for a demon to enter into your life. So what I'm saying, use the scriptures. In him is life. Use the scriptures. In him is life. The Bible says the word of God, that's Hebrews 4.12, the word of God is quick and powerful. And it is sharper than any two edges sword piercing into the divided asunder of spirit and soul, and is the designer of the intent of the heart. In fact, sometimes they give mantra to some people who have mentioned it in, in the time past. I'm saying it again, they give you a, a word. That word could not be. That word is a curse word. Do not use it. And do not do transcendental meditation. Some people will say yoga, they will say it's exercise. And they will tell you to do all this thing, and they will carve out this thing. They see that, that way. Do not do it. Hallelujah. Another is, is drugs. Drugs group. Drugs group. People will be, you know, drink, I mean, using drugs, they can go to the corner of the road, the corner of a road, or, or go into a, 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 you know, a building that is a, a not, not completed, uncompleted building, or they go into a bathroom, or they go into places sneaking around and belonging to a group together using drugs. And God is saying that, come out from that. Do not practice those things. All those things and more. There are several, several evil games, several evil games uh -huh, that are uh, there out there in the world. And God is saying, do not practice them. Do not do them. Because when you do them, then the evil spirit, you are given the evil spirit the power to come to your life. And, and so God, I'm, I'm hearing sorcery power. It's being broken by the blood of the Lamb. Use the blood of the Lamb to break 
the power of sorcery in your life. Use the word of God to break it in the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus Christ to break it in the name of Jesus. I have even communion. Communion, communion can break it. Only communion can break it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Baptism, water baptism can break this evil power in the name of Jesus. There are several, several things that we can do in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So if you are doing all of these things, stop practicing them. Stop playing games that are not of God. Games that are, that there are Bible stories. There are some Bible chips that you can use and you can, you can play this thing. There is, let me tell you something, there is fun in Christianity. There is fun in Christianity. My church group has gone to the beach in the past, we cook and everybody, even from the bus, as we enter the bus, we are about to go as we pray, and then they started to, you know, they choose somebody who was in charge, and the person was asking, what can you see about yourself? Tell us about yourself. And everybody started to, you know, get up, and even those who are not thinking about who they were, people that were not happy, people that are depressed, everybody now start to think, because you're gonna take, and the, the turn comes to you, uh -huh. before you know it, it's your turn. So you're going to tell us something about yourself. And so some people started to say something. Somebody said hey, she's miserable. And right there, uh, uh, people began to say, okay, if you are miserable, if you are this, if you are that, Jesus, Jesus can set you free. And before I know it, I'm telling you, people who are just, uh, uh, you know, melancholic in temperament begin to change and begin to laugh. You know, they, they, that, that temperament just disappeared because the Holy Spirit came and, and, and touched their lives. And before, by the time we, we, we get to the beach, oh my God, everybody enjoyed it and, and, and we ate together and we, you know, deep in the water. And so people taught one another how to swim and so on and so forth. We had fun that by the time we were leaving, people didn't want to leave. And people, some people did some uh, race, some running, some this and that at, at the beach, and it was so good. It was so nice. So what am I saying to you? Even go to where the water is running. I have not really fall, it's right there. That you go and put your back there and let the water beat all the stress out of you in the name of the Lord. Amen. And so other things that are Christian books that have been written. I have so many books right here that I've written that will empower you, that will help to open your eyes, uh -huh, that will help to set the captives free, uh -huh, that will empower you as a child of God, that will equip you to be a Christian soldier. That when the enemy knock at your door, you use the word of God to quick to hallelujah. To, 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 to kick him out of your place. Hallelujah. And to put on the whole armor of God. And so, if the devil has been bombarding your life, if the devil has been, has been running you down, if the devil has not been allowing you to sleep, or if the devil is, is telling you lies, maybe you are hearing some, some, some voices, some voices in the name of Jesus, begin to refuse it, begin to rebuke it in the name of the Lord. I'm hearing impediment of thoughts, impediment of thoughts. I'm hearing impediment of thoughts. And in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I come against impediment of thoughts. Hallelujah. Every thought that is not clear, no clarity in your thought, I come against it. I cut it asunder. I break it asunder. I break that power asunder in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Uh, maybe there is somebody, uh, there is somebody, I'm uh, seeing that person slicing a uh, 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 meat, a uh, meat, a uh, meat, like it's, it's like pork, it's like pork. I'm not saying that pork is not good, but maybe you are the one who are cutting pork. As those who will hear this, maybe you are cutting pork. I'm, I'm saying to you, uh, something, something in your life that God wants to set you free. If you hear this message and it is you, I want you to call, call for help. Because you need deliverance, you need to be set free in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Call 823-9365, call 898-3357 and Jesus shall set you free, free. Yes, and I'm speaking to you from Spiritual Warriors Talk Show. Where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness and I am Bishop Grace Arigo. God bless you. Tell somebody about this program. Let them watch it next time. And Jesus is going to reward you. Let us so be saved. Tell us so. Tell them that evil practice is not evil. God wants you to go above and not below. This is where we prevail against the kingdom of darkness. Spiritual warriors talk to you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord.
Christianity is not a play play thing, you know. So any of you coming at this, you have to know, say, warfare, I go go on. Devil always, I go try and mash you down, mash you down. But with Jesus by our side, we have all the might and power that we need. So, when you ready, time for the soldiers march up now. Hey, check it. Getting really tired of the wicked brutality, the nasty immorality infecting the land. This mentality is quick on immortality, and personally, I don't think that this is the plan. Everybody watches while the clock tick tocks. There's a brood in a war that nobody can stop. Make up your mind, better choose your spot, cause I left the devil hanging to destroy this blood for my life. By the blood of the lemon, our testimony, we shall overcome. 